The psoas compartment block is designed to anesthetize the femoral, lateral femoral cutaneous, and obturator nerves. By doing so, this block provides postoperative analgesia for hip and knee surgery. When combined with a sacral plexus block, it may be used to provide anesthesia for lower leg surgery. Lay out the necessary equipment prior to beginning the procedure. A 20 milliliter syringe, a 5 milliliter syringe with 25 gauge needle, sterile IV tubing, and 1% lidocaine. Should you choose to confirm needle placement by nerve stimulation, you will need a nerve stimulator, an electrode, and a 22 gauge 120 millimeter insulated stimulating needle. In addition, you will need sterile surgical towels, sterile prep solution and sponges, gauze, and a marking pen. An ultrasound machine with a low-frequency transducer will be required to perform this procedure. Sterile ultrasound gel and a sterile sheath should be available. The patient should be placed in prone position with a pillow under the lower abdomen to minimize lumbar lordosis. The practitioner should stand on the same side of the patient to be blocked, while the ultrasound screen is placed opposite the physician. Sedation is required to keep the patient comfortable during the procedure. As demonstrated here, the patient needs to be prepped and draped in sterile fashion prior to beginning the procedure. Cover the ultrasound probe with gel and place it inside a sterile sheath. In addition, sterile gel should be spread onto the patient's lower back on the side to be blocked. Place the transducer, with its axis parallel to the spine, at the level of the L4-L5 vertebrae, 3 cm lateral to the spinous processes. Move the transducer inferiorly to identify the vertebral interspaces. Repeat this step by moving the transducer superiorly to again identify the vertebral interspaces in this region. Return to the L4-L5 vertebral interspace and rotate the transducer 90 degrees counterclockwise into the transverse imaging plane. Looking at the ultrasound screen, identify the erector spinae at the top of the screen. Deep to the erector spinae is the quadratus lumborum and psoas muscles. The L4 vertebral body is medial to the muscles. The figure illustrates the relationship of the structures you are visualizing on the ultrasound screen. The erector spinae is superficial to the quadratus lumborum and psoas muscles. The needle will pass into the psoas muscles between the transverse processes of the adjacent vertebrae. It has been recommended that the L4-L5 vertebral interspace is the most appropriate level for performing the ultrasound-guided psoas block. The anthropoid pelvis of most men and some women obscures the sonographic imaging below this level. See the text and references for further detail. At the medial edge of the probe, create a skin wheel with 1% lidocaine using the 25 gauge needle. Proceed to insert the needle into deeper tissues. Inject additional anesthetic following negative aspiration. Insert the 22 gauge 120 millimeter insulated needle perpendicular to the skin through the cutaneous wheel. Keep the needle aligned with the transducer. Identify the needle tip on the ultrasound screen. Advance the needle under real-time imaging between the transverse processes of L4 and L5. You can confirm the location of the needle tip using a nerve stimulator. Turn on the stimulator to 0.5 milliamps of current to excite the nerves of the lumbar plexus. Activation of the femoral nerve causes the quadriceps to twitch, which indicates that the needle is correctly located. 
aspirate the syringe and inject a test dose of 1 to 2 milliliters of anesthetic, looking for medication spread on the ultrasound screen. A small, expanding hypoechoic area should be well visualized. If you cannot appreciate the injection on the screen, stop immediately. If the test dose indicates correct needle placement, an additional 18 milliliters of anesthetic is administered. Continue to watch the screen to monitor the injection. Carefully position the patient after injection to maintain the patient's comfort and safety. The patient will begin to lose motor control and should be discouraged from attempting to move without assistance because of the risk of self-injury. Assess the degree of anesthesia by performing a neurologic exam. Evaluate the degree of sensory loss in both legs in the L2, L3, and L4 distribution, as these are the nerves affected by the psoas block. Although rare, bilateral anesthesia can occur causing significant sensory loss and hemodynamic changes.